This video is brought to you by Skillshare. We're gonna talk about Nuke, After Effects and Blender to see what each of them can offer when it comes to VFX and post-production work in different fields like VFX for film, motion graphics and commercials, social media content and more. VFX for film and TV shows. Nuke is one of the favorite tools for VFX studios when it comes to working on complex VFX shots, especially for big budget projects, because it has good tools for compositing, 3D tracking, model building and much more. It is fast and flexible and it works using a node based workflow, which is a much more convenient way to work in large compositions than using layers, because sometimes having too many layers in software such as After Effects is very difficult to work with properly and it is easy to lose track of the big picture. In Nuke you can just zoom in and out and see directly a web of nodes that makes a lot of sense. Using After Effects it is possible to build accurate keys and masks, use rotoscoping to separate foregrounds and backgrounds, perform motion and camera tracking, and three elements to a scene. And it has a bigger community and many more commercial plugins than any other software used for this type of work. For feature film and TV shows, After Effects is really good for motion graphics and basic compositions, such as cleanups, and it is especially being used in combination with Cinema 4D to create the highest quality motion graphics in movies such as Iron Man, Blade Runner 2049, Guardian of the Galaxy, and much more. For heavy lifting VFX work, it would be hard to work using After Effects and achieve very believable CG composition where you have a ton of different cameras, both match moved and animated. But Nuke handles big scenes and compositions with complicated setups very well, with decent speed and good organization. Blender is also a software that has the ability to do 3D motion tracking and composition work, and even though it is not popular yet in VFX studios, it has contributed to making many films and TV shows, but not necessarily for 3D motion tracking or composition because Blender is a 3D package that can do a lot of things other than post-production work. So far, as we all know, it has been used by Barnstorm VFX Studios to work on TV shows such as The Man in the High Castle and also the movie Henry, which was shot from the first person perspective as if you were watching gameplay, and many other projects as well that we will probably talk about in other videos. There is also a very talented Blender artist known as Ian Hubert, who contributed and directed a live action CGI short film for the Blender Institute called Tears of Steel in 2012, and he is still working on other inspiring projects as well. Motion Graphics and Commercials Both Blender and Nuke can do motion graphics work, regardless of the fact that they are totally different programs, but After Effects is the most commonly used for this type of work because it is easy to use and equipped with all the necessary tools and plugins. It is very popular in this field because it has been the weapon of choice for many motion graphics artists for a very long period of time. Generally speaking, it can be used to create motion graphics that combine 2D, 3D and other elements from Adobe products such as Illustrator and lots of building effects. After Effects can also be used in integration with 3D packages such as Cinema 4D or Blender to create even higher quality commercials and motion graphics. Nuke on the other hand is used by many studios to work on commercials that include these types of effects. But if you want to use Blender from start to finish, it is also possible because it has the advantage of being a complete 3D package that can do many things for modeling, animation, dynamics, etc. which is necessary if projects include 3D stuff. Blender is also node based, which means it is not going to be necessarily as straightforward as After Effects is. But with the help of add ons and specialized shaders and effects, you will be able to create a workflow that will suit your needs. Social media content Social media content creators also need to use this type of software, and the overwhelming majority use After Effects because as we said it is simple to use and has pre-made templates that you can pay for or use for free in addition to a truckload of plugins that can do different types of things. The most obvious form of social media content that After Effects is being used for is YouTube videos to create intros, outros, add lower thirds, motion graphics, animations and so on. For example this video was made in part using After Effects. In addition to that, After Effects is fantastic with other Adobe products such as Premiere. Big Budget or Indie Projects All these software are being used on big budget and indie projects as well as personal work. But generally speaking, Nuke is more appealing in an environment where there are a lot of people working together in big projects. 
but it is also being used by studios that has less than 10 people because it is the best for composition work. Nuke has a free version but it is limited in many different aspects but you can use it for learning nonetheless. On the other hand, both Blender and After Effects are being used by studios but they are more popular among individual users to work on freelance projects, provide services for studios or just for their personal use. So if you want good software for personal work or freelance work or even for small teams, I suggest working with both Blender and After Effects because they are budget friendly and can achieve great results. If you are interested in learning more about Blender, Nuke or After Effects, I recommend you check out Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning platform that has thousands of courses on a variety of different topics and I personally use it because I am interested in a lot of things like computer graphics, productivity, business, psychology and more. For example, they have a lot of courses about Blender and I recommend first checking Blender 3D, your first 3D character course which will help you get a solid grip over the basics before moving to complex courses. Also there is a nice beginner's guide to After Effects if you want to get started. In addition to another course by the same instructor about 3D camera tracking in After Effects in which you will learn how to shoot your own footage and use the 3D camera tracker in depth and much more. And the good thing is it is very affordable because you just need to pay less than $10 a month to get access to these courses. The first 1000 people who will sign up through our link will get 2 months of premium membership for free, links in the description. The learning curve. Among these software, probably After Effects is the easiest to learn and in a shorter period of time because it is simpler, in addition to the fact that a lot of people have used Photoshop or Illustrator at some point in their lives which means they are already familiar with the way it operates because they are all made by the same company. If you can devote a good chunk of your working hours to learn After Effects, you could definitely learn it and become efficient using it in just few months depending on your experience and the time you invest in the learning process. And of course, if you can focus on important motion design concepts like workflows, design, organization, color, etc. and other stuff that you will probably not use. And like anything else you want to learn, the learning process is something continuous that you need to keep doing over time. Nuke is not as straightforward as After Effects is, but after you spend enough time using it and learn its ins and out, it will become easier and better especially when things get complicated. And when you get used to the node based workflow, you will probably not go back to using After Effects unless it is gonna be something simple and quick. On the other hand, Blender is also node based and it will take some time to get used to but like other node based compositing software, it will give you more freedom and flexibility to do more complex and advanced stuff without being bottlenecked. Pricing and Licensing Blender is actually an open source and free to use 3D package even for commercial purposes. That's why it is very popular and used by many artists and studios because it gives them fantastic tools to work on their projects without having to be concerned too much about software expenses. After Effects is not free but it is not expensive either because it is around 20 bucks a month if you decide to pay annually or $31 if you want to pay on a monthly basis. On the other hand, Nuke has commercial versions and a free non-commercial version and as we said before, the free version has its limitation. For example, some of the limitations include First of all, not having the ability to work on commercial projects. The output resolution is limited to 1080p. There is no support for third-party plugins and only plugins that ship with Nuke are supported. Data storage is encrypted, meaning that you cannot open Nuke non-commercial files in the commercial version. And Python scripting is limited. If you want to pay for the commercial version, it is gonna be very expensive. And if you are not making serious money right now, you will probably not be able to afford it. There is the standard Nuke version which can go a long way, but there is also Nuke X which is the advanced version that has more advanced tools and features with double the price of Nuke standard. And lastly Nuke Studio that has editing features in it, so you wouldn't need external editing software. Final thoughts. To sum it all up in few words, the biggest advantage Nuke and Blender have over After Effects is the control, flexibility and freedom. After Effects is fantastic and very efficient for commercials, YouTube videos and fast cleanups. 
Nuke is the most suitable software for feature film, high-end TV shows, and high-end commercials that need complex or advanced composition work. And almost anything you can do in After Effects can be replicated in Blender, but After Effects has easier and straightforward ways of getting things done, but there are motion tracking and composition tasks that will be better done using Blender. The advantage that Blender has over Nuke and After Effects is the price and the fact that it is a software that can do everything from 3D modeling, animation, effects to composition. So you don't have to be constantly using different software to do different tasks in addition to its rapid pace of growth and development so you can't really expect how good it will be a few years from now. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.